eight common bandeja mistakes. And we're going to start right now. Vamos. <laughs> We are in La Playa with seven indoor courts. Thank you very much, Marcel, that we can uh, film in your location. Mistake one, the elbow too low. If you have your elbow here, it is very difficult to slice. Now the ball's going up. But if you go from high to low, from here and then down, then you can play the ball deeper and also play with slice. If your elbow is low, you play the ball up too much. If the elbow is high, you can play the ball down. Easy peasy. Give a like on the video. Mistake number two, dropping the racket. So it is possible that your elbow is high, but your racket drops. This is like very common if you have a tennis smash. So if you think of a tennis smash, your elbow is like this, it's okay, but you still go and play the ball down. So to make it super easy, racket higher than the ball, play the ball down, play against the fence, you win the point. Start with that. So if you feel like you're doing this, it makes it more complicated. This is more easy. You can also do a bandeja, high, and down. But the racket is always higher than the ball. Vamos. The next time you watch the World Paddle Tour, try to see how short the backswing is, how short they are coming from here to forward. They don't come from here so often. They are more closer, very close. Mistake number three, playing the ball too fast. The bandeja is a defensive shot. So think of a defensive shot. If you play the bandeja too fast, it would be easier for your opponent to get the ball back. Try to keep the ball behind the line. This is very important if you play your bandeja straight or to the middle. So if you play the bandeja straight, the ball comes up a little bit more. So now the bounce is quite high. So try to play your bandeja a little bit uh, softer or slower when you play straight. The second ball is softer than the first ball, so try to play a softer ball when you play absolutely straight or through the middle. The racket is too open. Doesn't work. If the racket is very open like this, the ball will come up a lot. So let's say I want to hit the ball like this. It's not a very good bandeja. So I prefer, maybe you prefer as well, to keep it slightly more like this. And then from high to low, you can do the same. It's much easier. This is a little bit complicated. This might be better. Mistake five, the backswing is too big. So if the backswing is very big, you probably play too fast as well. And it is very hard to control the slice. So if you are here and you try to play the banana, you have less control. And it's probably going too fast because the movement here is very important. A very good drill to train this is to start from here, high, elbow high, Racket high, not low, and from here you're going to play the bandeja. Because now you can feel that you only use your hand to play slice. You don't have to play the ball over the net, 
but you just want to feel that you follow through from there. So you don't go like here, you make mistakes when you're there, you make less mistakes from here. So try to prepare close to you. It also works if the left hand is close to here. If you feel like you're doing this, this works together and this works together. They are a team, left and right. Your left hand and your right hand are a team. Yeah? Close, works best. Even though I make a small backswing, I still have enough power to, to follow through. So I don't need this. This makes life complicated. This makes paddle easier. Mas facil. Yeah? Si, sí, tío. Vamos. Mistake number six, being too open with the footwork. This is a common mistake for players on the left, because they are here and they try to play there. You, when you're here, you probably play too up. It's more complicated. It is better to change your footwork and your entire body to where you want to aim. So it's also very important that you know where to play because then your body can move to the direction you want to play. I feel like a sumo wrestler, but leave that for another video. Mistake number seven, preparing the racket late. <laughs> it's a very common mistake that I see often in every single shot. When you know the ball is coming, prepare how you want to play. If the ball is coming high, try. Instead of... Oh, that's super stressed. To do, racket is ready. Even if I have the ball in the frame, the ball goes over the net because I'm ready. I'm ready. It's not like... <laughs> it's too complicated. Early and slowly. The ball's coming. Early and slowly. Yes. Early and langsam. Yeah. Quit bro. Mistake eight. Hitting the ball late. It rhymes. So hitting the ball late would be hitting the ball if you are here in this part of the court because now you can do less with the swing if you feel like you cannot follow through that's probably because you hit the ball behind the line and then you will hit yourself if you are here it is a little bit easier to have the contact point in this part of the court so it's like there then it's much easier you're gonna feel like oh the ball's just going. Then because the ball is in front of you, everything will go. It's much easier. So try to prepare early, everything up, and hitting the ball in front of you. As you sticked to the end of the video, I give you one bonus tip. Only the real ones stick to the end and because you're watching this, you're probably gonna win every single match because the other ones, they didn't watch until the end. The height, where, how high are you going to hit the bandeja? I see lots of people that think, oh, I need to hit the ball as high as my head. Bah, try to hit it a little bit higher. The main goal is, or, well, your opponent is going to struggle when you play the ball into the corner. So when I have the contact point here, I can play more in the corner. This ball dies behind the line, or, if the ball is high, I can play the ball against the fence. I think that's a much better option than trying to hit the ball very low. If you hit the ball low, you have to take a lot of risk. Because if you hit the ball like head high, there is not a lot of margin over the net. If you hit the ball higher, you can play the ball more down. So that's why some players even jump to get the ball even higher, to get a really high contact point to make the ball go to the side wall or to the fence because that's a very good option to play. 
also they play a lot of effect so the height of the ball doesn't matter that much because they have loads of slice hit the ball a little bit more further next to you instead of here because this is very complicated as well so try to go for this shot good luck okay everybody thank you all for watching i hope you all enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos go to youtube we have another uh, playlist with paddle tips videos where we can give you the best tips that yeah we we think it's good at least and uh on facebook we have a playlist as well so check it out uh, please like and subscribe that will be very very nice anyway thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next monday video hasta luego ciao adios